Hello guys, in this video tutorial I will show you how to create this model in FreeCAD. So uh, for this we will be using the Part Design Workbench. It is a very powerful tool for creation of uh, this different model. Okay, let's activate the Part Design Workbench. You can choose it here. Uh, and in this model and task in the model, uh, choose our document and click to the icon with creation of model you will create the body and in this body let's create the 2d plan where we will create the 2d sketch so let's choose the xy plan and um, we will see here the different tools for working with 2d geometry so uh, let's import the example of our model um, we will create something like that in this model so let's create the first part it will be the circle and for the circle we can ch set the dimension it will be the radius so let's set some dimension it will be 10 millimeters the radius value and the next will be the another circle let's set the central position for this and let's set the dimension it will be also the radius 20 millimeters okay so uh, the next let's make the bottom part let's set the lines and uh, we have the, some constraints it's horizontal and two points the connection with the external circle so let's set let's set the vertical dimensions the position for this line let's choose for this the line the point of the line and the central point of coordinate system and set, choose this vertical dimension constraint so it will be 15 millimeters so let's make the trim operation and it will delete the some part of circle okay and we have to set the vertical dimension again because uh, the trim operation delete the vertical dimension from previous step okay and now let's create this upside part we will be using the rectangle for this so let's um, set some random position for rectangle and let's set the dimension for rectangle uh, we can and for the symmetry condition uh, of this rectangle let's set the 10 millimeters um, it is half of length rectangle let's set the vertical position we have to choose the two points the first point is the rectangle points and the second point is the central coordinate system points it will be 30 millimeters okay and let's again choose the trim operation and let's make the trim so let's control z it is uh, okay yes it's true and let's click escape and choose this line and delete it with bottom delete okay and now we have the fully connected sketch here and let's set this holes the lines with holes but the first let's make the field operation for our these two lines and for these two lines here also so uh, we have to set the radius of field operation let's choose the radius for this sketch and also you can choose the boss the uh, circle part field parts and 
click yes and so you will set the radius for both circle part okay and the last part is creation of holes let's create the first hole and set the radius for this click ok let's uh, just activate sketch again and let's choose the horizontal position of the circle ok let's create a, um, one else circle and set the radius it will be 2.5 millimeters and let's create the last circle okay uh, you can set also the constraint dimensions for the centers of these circles but I have I will set the randoms so let's uh, create the symmetry for this you have to choose the, the all circles and the last line will be the um, symmetry axis and if you will use this tool you will get the symmetry and after that let's create the extrusion for our sketch it will be pad and set the lens okay so now it looks good <coughs> uh, let's uh, make the some cut operation for upside part so let's uh, choose this surface and create the plane and for this plane we have to make the offset in that direction and it will be the 10 millimeters and for this plan let's choose the sketch and make the import the external edge because we can to connect our circle with this edge <coughs> and now let's create the rectangle and uh, let's hide our 3d model it is uh, bottom space okay and but uh, now we have uh, in sketch our detail so let's go to the sketch again <coughs> and just activate the model and space bottom click for our model and you will hide our 3d model from the sketch and you can work with to the sketch without troubles okay so let's make the constraint for points with circle line and let's let's make the trim operation here yes it looks good edit sketch hide the 3d model and now let's delete this line <coughs> you can change it here okay uh, ctrl z and uh, for our to the sketch let's make the cut operation so let's choose our sketch close choose the sketch and make the cut so uh, for this cutting let's make some direction of cutting this packet operation is called in part design workbench set this <laughs> lens and uh, now it lo looks good and we have to make 
this part it also will be to we have to repeat the previous steps it will be creation the plane and for the plane uh, we have to create the sketch and in the sketch we can to create the 2d rectangle and make the packet operation for our rectangle set the so dimension let's hide the datum plane bottom space and uh, now we have get got uh, the complete geometry so thank you for watching subscribe to the channel goodbye